what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy bt today we're gonna get this thing set up first thing we gotta do is take it out the box and get it charged so that when we're ready to set this thing up we got plenty of battery power So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flip this up. We're gonna hook this inside of here. Okay. Then we got our power supply. We're gonna hook this in here. This is what we're gonna plug in. This right here is the last piece that we need to plug in the back side. So they do give you two. And then we'll go ahead, we'll plug this in. And now we should be ready to charge. So right now I'm gonna hop into the app. I'm gonna hit add device. And we can see it picks it up. So now I gotta enter my Wi-Fi password. All right, the device is added successfully. But uh, let's see here. Okay, so there we go. So it looks like the battery's at 58%. We're gonna let that charge up and uh, set it up once the charge is complete. So we've got the red light flashing, green lights flashing. It's charging up. We're almost ready to get this thing installed. So make sure you have the latest version of the Mamotion app and make sure that your firmware, all that good stuff is up to date. And if everything's up to date, you should be able to see that nice little uh, charging symbol there we can see we're at 49 percent so we're charging up to 100 percent before we hit the road enter the map and get this luba set up and ready to rock and roll all right so we got our battery nice and charged so now we're going to start the setup so we got this front bumper that needs to be installed onto the luba but more importantly we need to find a location to mount the antenna so here we're going to take this little uh little guy here we're gonna add this on like so okay so for the installation you can install it uh, with the pole if you would like but for this particular installation to get better to get a better signal I want to get it up a little higher so we are going to grab our cables here and we're going to go ahead and find a location to mount this antenna. All right, so first thing we're going to do is pick a location for the base to go. So first thing we'll do is we're going to plug in the extension cord. All right, since the span of my holes are wider than the post, I'm going to have to secure this to a longer piece of board so I'm gonna have to get a board but we're gonna end up putting it up closer to the top here so we can get a good signal coverage so uh, yeah we'll go ahead and get that set up okay so we're gonna do a quick test fit all right now we're ready to go fit it right up there So you can see that's a much better spot. We're gonna use that as our test spot for now. We may use the pole later. We're gonna go ahead, get this hooked up into the base. Okay, so for us to get this hooked into the base, I'm just gonna leave that excess there for now. We're gonna plug this into it. And then we're gonna take this end and put it inside here into the connector on the right side. And now we're gonna go ahead and get the power set up. Okay, so this is the section here where the initial Husqvarna box was placed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug that out for now. And we're just gonna run this cord right over to the unit there. And um, we're just gonna test fit everything first before, make sure we got a good location, make sure everything works well and then we'll go from there. OK, 
Okay, so next we've got our power cord here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in on the back side as well. Once everything's good, if this spot works, antenna works, if we don't have to move anything, then we'll get everything secured. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and test fit everything, do our uh, mapping, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here we have our front bar. We're gonna plug that in, light at the top. And just gently press it in until it snaps. All right, we got a pot on, light's red. We're gonna just place it in the base. Okay, so we are in the base, everything's looking good. As you can see, we do have a green light up above there. So everything, all the connections are rocking and rolling and now it's time to get the map set up. So we've got the first section planned nicely. We're gonna go ahead to the front side, get those added, and then we should be good to go. All right, so we got everything mapped out. We're gonna just push this mo button here and see what we get.
folks, so there we have it. The Luba is set up, it's running. I believe it's gonna run the perimeter first and then it's gonna go ahead and do its line straight back and forth. So you can see, setup was breeze. I am excited for this Luba. This is a much better organized cutting motion uh, than the Husqvarna that I have, that I was using previously. I'm pretty sure this is gonna uh, outperform the Husqvarna by a long, a long shot. So, we got everything set up. Lube is good to go. You saw the setup was pretty straightforward. I've got the antenna up at a nice height. You can see here, it's cutting right by the edge of the property, right by the edge of the street. So wherever you run that line, that is where it's gonna cut. So make sure you give a nice good distance between the unit and the edge of the street. And I know some of you guys are gonna ask why do you have a backpack on? What is the need for the backpack? Well, while I was doing the installation, my phone started to die. So I hooked them up to the good old VP350 here. Uh, since the whole time I had it plugged in, which has been quite some time, I've only used 5% of this uh, battery pack. So that has worked out really well. Well, that's all we got for you today, folks. It's your boy BT. Luba and me. We're out. Catch you guys on the next one.